Yo, YouTube, this is Andy Killer um, again here, and today's tutorial is about how to put videos onto your MP3 player. That's the Walkman uh, MP3 players, uh, the NWZA818 for this particular tutorial. It will work with a lot of um, Sony Walkmans. Right, big problem guys, because um, when you want to put your videos onto your Sony Walkman, they don't work, and it says unsupported files, and it's a hell of a headache. I have done a video on YouTube before, and I had over 20,000 hits on it. 25,000 hits, actually. I was really surprised, so guys, if you did watch that, I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, today's tutorial is going to be a little bit easier tutorial, a more up-to-date one. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, I'm just putting this file here onto my um, MP3 player at the minute, and so I'll do it now so you can see it later. But this is the file that we're going to be looking for. This is actually a DVD file that I've uh, ripped onto my computer. I've then converted it to MP4, MPEG4 file, and now we're putting it on through Media Manager for Walkman 1.2, and it should work. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back a couple of steps. Right, in the information to this video, there's going to be three links. The first link is to a website where you can download this. This is called DD DVD Decryptor. This takes all the the copyright uh, protection off of your DVD, so you can back it up on your computer quite safely. This is illegal, so don't do anything stupid like sell the DVDs when you've done it. Just keep them on your computer for your your own personal use. Right, for this, you need to click. DVD decryptor to open it up. When you've done that, you need to click onto the mode button here where I am. Click IFO mode, then click tools. Go down to settings and then go to IFO mode here and make sure file splitting is set to none. Make sure it's none, as you're going to have like 10 files you won't have nothing to do about. You won't be able to do enough of them. Okay. Uh, then you need to stick your DVD into your DVD drive on the, the PC. I should just do that now. Okay, when I'm doing that, I'm going to show you another program. This program is 3GP Converter. I used it in my last YouTube video. Um, and now we're going to use it again because it is a very good converter. You're going to press Setup and Run when you've downloaded it. You're going to drop this down to English and then press Apply it will be in Japanese to start with. Then you need to go down to this list to get to model mp4 for PSP direct renamed and you need to apply that. When you have applied that a box will open. The box will look like this. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast guys but I've actually done this video about five times already and it keeps mucking up so I'm getting a bit bored. Right this is the um, 3G converter box. The only thing you need to do on here is select the third option down which is mono 48 kbps kilobytes per second and you need to also choose an output dictionary for your video to go to so you can find it after it's converted which takes around 15 minutes for a 5 gigabyte dvd so we click dvd now let's just leave that aside a minute while i just go over this uh, dvd decryptor okay see i've just put a dvd in a dvd drive uh, if you press stream processing and then enable stream processing, there's a subtitle here called subtitle English SPO1 WL. You need to unselect this. Um, there might be some for Spanish, German, Russian, and all this. We, unless you're deaf, you're not going to want it. So um, do that. Also, you want to do your output dictionary to somewhere that you're going to be able to find decrypted DVD. DVD there. Okay, leave everything else the same, just make sure it's come up with the right name, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then click this button. That button there, DVD to hard drive. And now your DVD will start decrypting. I didn't press it because I've already done it lots and lots and lots of times. Right. When your DVD has decrypted, a little tune will play, and it'll go, din 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 din. You know it's done. Just ignore that, I don't know what it was doing. And you'll end up with a file like this. This file here, boys and girls. This one here, the one that says Face Off VOL file. Yes, the movie's called Face Off. Um, it's a VOB file and it's 5.5 gigabytes, large file. 
Uh, what I would say is, if you don't have a big hard drive, either buy a big external hard drive to store your films on, or when you've you've uh, converted these to MP4, they're going to be like half a gig. This five this five point five gigabyte file is going to be like half a gig, so you can delete the uh, file on the screen now after you've done it, and that'll save some memory. Okay, so you stick that into there. Yeah, it's one hundred percent. It's lying. It's not, it's like half percent. Uh, and that's actually starting to um, convert. It's this one here. All right. So we're going to abort that because I've already done it. It's the file above. Let's just delete that. Okay, so this, this file here is the one you're going to end up with after about 15, 20 minutes of um, converting a five and a half gigabyte file through 3PG converter. Okay, all you do is you open your media manager for Walkman 1.2, you plug your Walkman in, you select video, you drag it into there, it copies it across, and there it is, face off. Now what I can do is because I'm actually because I'm actually I'm using a desktop recorder called Cam Studio if you didn't know, uh, I can't actually play it because it, you won't be able to see it. But what I can do is I will play it on my Walkman through my speakers just to prove that it you you know it's working. You'll be able to hear it playing. All right, so hopefully that's going to make sense to you guys. Uh, don't worry about this top lot; it's a load of rubbish. It's just if you've got anything on your PC that you want to bring to your computer, you just press it down now and it goes on. For this tutorial, we're just dragging things across. Well, I'll just start that video now. Okay, there we go. You can better hear this starting now. Just turn the uh, telly up. There we go, guys. So that's playing through my speakers, and I'm watching it on my MP3. I just go forward a few bit. Just going forward. All right, guys. Well, you have my way. It's playing anyway. Everybody, including himself, and stay away from downtown on the 18th. It's going to be a little uh, smoggy. Going to be a little bit smoggy, right? Anyway, there you go. I won't bore you anymore, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please click any advert you see because it helps me. Um, only if they interest you, of course. That's great. Uh, take care. Bye, YouTube.